a garden by Leila Berg. Let's act and enjoy. Let's watch and listen to the poem. If I should have a garden, I know how it would be. There'd be daisies and buttercups and an apple tree. A dog would chase a ball there, a bird would sit and sing, and a little cat would play with a little piece of string. And in the very middle, I'd only have to stand for ladybirds and butterflies to settle on my hand. If I should have a garden, I know how it would be. There'd be daisies and buttercups and an apple tree. A dog would chase a ball there, a bird would sit and sing, and a little cat would play with a little piece of string. And in the very middle, I'd only have to stand for ladybirds and butterflies to settle on my hand. Ah, tea with your little friends, Melissa. Come, let's have some snacks and hot chocolate. I am sure you must be hungry, aren't you? Oh yes, I am. Hmm, the hot chocolate smells really good. Looks like you're reading a poem by Leila Berg. So, do you like the poem? Yes, mother. A garden by Leila Berg. Such a beautiful poem. I like this poem. Why do you like the poem? It seems so peaceful. The poetry shows how she imagines of a garden of her choice. Tell me more about the poem, Melissa. What does Leila Berg want in her garden? Hmm. She wants daisies and buttercups, a dog and a cat. She also wants ladybirds, butterflies, and an apple tree. Oh, that must be a very beautiful garden. What are these for, Melissa? Aren't they beautiful, Mother? We had an activity in class today. Our English language teacher asked us questions, and we were to respond using the smileys to show what we felt. Shall I ask you some questions about the poem then? You can answer using the smileys. Oh yes, let's start, Mother. Do you like the poem? What animals do you see in this imaginary garden? What insects do you see in this imaginary garden? What flowers do you see in this imaginary garden? 